Well, good afternoon. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Lights Devotional here on a January Monday. Found out just a few minutes ago that the sun does shine. You know, sometimes we go through some really cloudy days in our life, but uh, it's always been true that the sun will shine again. And we've had some gloomy days here in Kansas City recently. But just a reminder here, a few minutes ago, as the sun broke through the clouds and began to chase the clouds away, we were reminded of how we get through the dark, gloomy times of life. We survive the storms, and the sun will shine again. Well, that's not exactly what I was going to talk about today, but I just thought I'd mention that in case you needed the encouragement that uh, the dark clouds in your life will not linger forever. But back of the clouds, the sun is always shining. Yesterday, I'm glad we went ahead and had church. Many Kansas City area churches canceled their services, and yet we uh, thought we would go ahead and have our church. We have uh, quite a few people just in the immediate neighborhood of our church that should have no problem uh, finding their way or navigating their way to church. And others have a strong desire to be in the house of the Lord, and uh, as the chief fans did, they braved the elements and uh, came to church. So we had a fair sized congregation for the Lighthouse Chapel, and I'm glad we went ahead and had it, and I was able to preach my message. And uh, Carol was deprived from being in church yesterday with her uh, unsure footing. She just didn't feel like it would be wise to get out on the slippery surfaces, so she stayed home, and yesterday afternoon, she said, Charles, will you preach your sermon to me? Well, I wasn't going to sit there and preach to her as if I'd had a house full, but I thought on my devotional here this week that uh, maybe I would give you the Reader's Digest version a little bit uh, at a time. So here goes. I talked about how the proverb says, As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. And I'm so glad today that there is good news from a far country. And that was the gist of my message. And yet, I had to talk a little bit about how refreshing a cold glass of water can be. Now, it's true that the human body is a large percentage of water. I believe that the average uh, percentage in a human male is something like 65%. And uh, when you lose uh, uh, two or three percent of that, uh, then you begin to become thirsty. Thirst kicks in. And all oh, we know the discomfort of really being thirsty, don't we? I thought about all the times in my life that I've had some extreme thirst. And those times, a glass of cold water never failed to quench that thirst, bring refreshment. Talked about how when I was a kid, uh, at a young age, I strapped a paper bag over my shoulder and trudged the hills of Boonville, Missouri, delivering the Boonville Daily News six days a week. Many a day it was hot. Sun was beaming down upon us. We were perspiring as we delivered our papers. And oh, there were times I could hardly wait to get to Van Land, Handy, Van Land, well, I can't say the name now. Uh, anyway, it's an implement company there, and I knew there's a water fountain where I could go in and quench my thirst. And oh, how I remember those cold, long drinks of water from the water fountain at the implement company near the end of my paper route. I remember picking up hay bales out in the hot mid. Uh, Central Missouri hay fields, and and uh, even though we were making a nickel a bale, making pretty good money, that didn't keep us from becoming very hot and thirsty. No, I just remember going to the farmhouse and and uh, getting a long uh, drink of well water, and how refreshing it was. So you know, we work up a thirst, and uh, we do lose that percentage of water that causes us thirst to kick in, and the only thing that's going to satisfy that thirst is a long, cold drink of cool, refreshing water. And so, you know, there is refreshment 
And some of the things that we notice about God's Word is that it gives us uh, the Word in a way that we can relate. And I know that uh, even as cold water is to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. And I'm so happy today in, a, in an age where we hear so much bad news, we're all almost overwhelmed with bad news, aren't we? I'm glad that I can say that there is good news. There is good news from a far country, that far country being a place called heaven, the one that's trying to correspond with us and, and uh, send us the good news is God himself. And so we're going to talk about the good news from a far country. I remember hearing a preacher, and you may recognize uh, the preacher when I say what I'm going to say, but oftentimes he would preface his message or preface what he was going to say with the words, with your permission. Well, with or without your permission, those of you that were here yesterday, we're going to be talking about the good news from a far country and how refreshing it is to our thirsty souls today. Heavenly Father, we thank you that there is good news. We pray that thou will bless our effort in the next few days to share the good news that comes from a far country. For Lord, we do need refreshment. We need nourishment. May that good news strengthen us and refresh us. And Lord, bless us on down throughout the journey of life is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for being with me today, and I'll plan to see you tomorrow here on the Lower Lights Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.